This is an introductory optimization problem, and we're going to follow um, this example right here. Just a tutorial. We're going to maximize x1 plus x2, and then we're also going to be subject to these four constraints. You know, the first one is just that x1 squared plus x2 squared is going to be greater than 1. The second one is x1 squared plus x2 squared is less than 2. And then we also have that uh, x1 and x2 also have to be greater than 0. So we can adjust um, x1 or x2 up or down. If we didn't have uh, these, these constraints here, um, then x1 would go to infinity, um, and x2 would also go to infinity to maximize the sum of these two. Okay, but we have constraints that are going to bound the region and uh, tell us where we can search for an optimal solution. So what we want to do first of all in part A is just plot the feasible space, okay, so the area that um, where x1 and x2 can be selected that satisfies uh, these constraints right here. And uh, then we want to shade that region so we can pick any point among all the potential uh, solutions okay, within that feasible region. And then we're going to also plot uh, the objective contours. So uh, we're going to be able to select x1 plus x2. We're just going to set that equal to 1, for example, and then set it equal to 2 and to 3 and upward, okay, and be able to see if we have any values of x1 and x2 that give us the highest objective function. Okay, and then uh, in that we're going to try to identify the optimal solution within the feasible space and, uh, and be able to select um, that point. Okay, so let's go ahead and just start with, uh, I'm just going to label this one x1 and then x2. Okay, so we have our two axes here. And um, we have, first of all, our non-negativity constraints, so that x1 and x2 have to be greater than or equal to 0. So we know that the solution has to lie somewhere within this quadrant. Okay, let's go ahead and plot our, our next one. Um, that's x1 squared plus x2 squared has to be less than 2. Okay, so, um, you know, as a circle, um, we just had x squared plus y squared equals c squared. Okay, so this is just going to be a, a circle that's going to intersect at 1.4 or square root of 2. And um, you know, this is just going to be a circle that comes all the way around. I'm not drawing a very good circle there, but um, it has to be somewhere on the interior of that circle. Okay, to be less than less than 2. Now we have another one which is going to be x1 squared plus x2 squared is greater than 1. Okay, so I have a similar circle but it's going to come around here like this and I know it has to be on the outside of that circle because it's greater than greater than 1. Okay, so let me go ahead and just draw that one. And so we have our feasible space is going to be somewhere right in the middle of that uh, region. Okay? Okay, so let me just go ahead and erase everything except the ones that really count. Okay? And um, so now if I draw my contours, let me go ahead and just change color here. And um, so let's say I have, I want to find all the points where x1 plus x2 equal 1. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my line and that's going to look something like um, this. Okay, so that's going to be um, x1 plus x2 equals 1. Okay, so if I select any point along here, uh, that's going to equal 1. I do have an intersection with my feasible space, so those are my potential solutions there. And this might be a minimum solution, okay? If I was trying to minimize this problem, I'd have actually have two solutions there. Okay, so, um, but let's say it equals 2 instead. x1 plus x2 equals 2. Okay, then I'm going to plot all of my potential um, solution, or not potential solutions, this is just where objective function equals 2. It actually intersects right here. Okay, so um, as I go this way, I'm going to increase the objective function. 
So if I'm trying to maximize okay, x1 plus x2, I want to pick the point within this region you know, right here that is going to give me the highest objective function. So I think we just found it right there. So let's just test x1 plus x2 equals 3. And if I come up even further, that's going to be x1 plus x2 equals 3. Okay, But I don't have a point along here that lies within that feasible region. So no potential solutions of x1 plus x2 equals 3. Okay, so let's, um, let's just verify this with a solver now. So um, typically, you know, we don't use graphical methods for solving most optimization problems. Uh, we use nonlinear linear programming solvers. So one of those is here at the apmonitor.com website. Okay, and uh, what um, the way you can access this is just coming to um, you know apmonitor.com and then click solve optimization problems and then we're just going to replace okay this with um, a couple variables um, x1 um, and we have to say that's going to be greater than zero and then x2 um, that was also going to be greater than zero okay and then we have a couple equations. Our first one is x1 uh, squared plus x2 um, squared is going to be greater than 1. Okay, I'm just going to copy this. Let me zoom in just a little bit here so it's a little easier to see. Okay, um, And then we also have a greater than 2. And then we also want to try to Actually, this was maximize um, x1 plus x2. Okay, so there are different uh, solvers that we can use. I'm just going to try the APOP solver and click the green button here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I made a mistake. Okay, it said that um, this one was probably unbounded. Okay, so it went up to many iterations. And the reason why is because it went to infinity. Okay, but I need to change this to less than 2 instead of greater than 2. Let me optimize one more time. And it says I had a successful solution. And that agrees with our graphical solution, which is x1 and x2 have to be equal to 1. And uh, let's just look at the solver output here. It says successful solution. And it found our objective function. Okay, so let's come here and just take a look at that uh, table as well. We can see that um, x1 and x2, they're both at a value of 1.